Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Renee Mehra, and my guest today is joining me from Chennai, India, and she needs no introduction. She's a violinist for Exelon, a versatile music composer. She's none other than Lal Gudi Vijayalakshmi Ji. Namaste, Lal Gudi Vijayalakshmi Ji. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining from Chennai, India. Vijayalakshmi Ji, you're the fifth generation of an illustrious musical family, which can be traced back to the 18th century saint musician Thyagaraja, and your grandfather, Lal Gudi uh, Gopal Ayer, and your father, the legendary violin maestro Padma Bhushan, Lal Gudi Jai Ramanji, and your brother, you know, with whom yes. you performed many, many concerts together, Lal Gudi Krishnanji. So share with us this beautiful family lineage of yours. It's a great blessing that I come in the disciple lineage of St. Tyagaraja. Um, St. Tyagaraja is one of the Trinity composers of the Carnatic uh, system of music. And his contribution to Carnatic music is immense. And we all know that uh, St. Tyagaraja's period was uh, 1767 to 1847. My father and Guru's great grandfather, Lal Gudi Ramaya, was uh, a direct disciple of Saint Tyagaraja. He did uh, uh, what we call as Gurukula. Uh, um, I mean, he was serving and he was learning uh, the art form from Saint Tyagaraja, the saint himself. But he was a vocalist. His son, Lal Gudi Radha Krishna Iyer, was the first violinist in our uh, lineage and uh, his son that is my grandfather Lal Gudi Gopalaya was also a violinist but the Lal Gudi Garana itself was created by my father mm -hmm. Lal Gudi Sri Jai Raman and uh, that is the Garana that is the Bani the Lal Gudi Bani is what we are following me and my brother and uh, we try to uh, impart that to a uh, the coming generation of uh, students and musicians also. And you promoted and preserved this Lal Gudi Bani, Lal Gudi Garana. Uh, Absolutely. Legacy Absolutely. And, and now improvising and contributing to yes. within the boundaries yeah. of the tradition. Yes. And uh, the Lal Gudi Bani itself uh, focuses a lot on the musical aesthetics and uh, uh, beauty of music and it strives to give a proportionate importance to both melody and rhythm and uh, my father always believed that music and lyrics have to go hand in hand mm -hmm. and also a lion should the, or the rhythm rhythmic aspects should not be overpowering and we should not lose the essence of music because of lion or uh, it should not be too uh, m uh, melodious and leaving away the lion. So the equal balance is what he always stressed and that is what he has uh, demonstrated or uh, inlaid in, whol in all his compositions also. There is equal importance for melody and emotions and lion rhythmic patterns, complex rhythmic patterns also. So this is such a great family lineage, it's awe-inspiring for all of us who are into music. Now you play uh, violin, the Carnatic style of music, which I want to share with our viewers. It's the South Indian style of music as opposed to the Hindustani classical, which is the North Indian uh, style of music. So share with our viewers, if you can demonstrate, illustrate the difference uh, between the, the North Indian style and the South Indian, the Carnatic style. Yes. Um yeah, the Carnatic system and the Hindustani system are the two classical systems of uh, music in our country. And uh, there are many similarities. Um, after all, the seven notes and the varieties of uh, notes in the seven notes. And uh, because of that, there is a lot of similarity. And also in the rhythm section, in the Laya work, there is a lot of similarity. But what makes these two systems very unique is the differences that are there in the systems. And uh, 
one very important and obvious difference is how we handle the notes or swar what is happening between the notes uh-huh. how we connect the notes uh, the mind that happens in the uh, hindustani system and the gamakams as we call it um the oscillations the ornamentations that we do to the notes gives it a very different flavor and uh, it is very uh, very uh, scientifically evolved in the carnatic system of music and of course compositional forms are also very different in both the systems and uh, even the laya work that we do the thals they are all very different but the most important unique difference between the two systems is the gamakams the ornamentations that we do uh, for the notes and therefore the tarts and ragas are very different in both the systems so if you can uh, give us a little bit of a demonstration absolutely um if we take a uh, boop mm. or which we call as mohanam the pentatonic scale um if i were to sing the scale um let me just switch on my tanpura sa sa ri ga pa da sa sa da pa ga ri sa these notes are very common to both the systems for boop and also for mohanam sa ri ga pa da is the oscillations that make it more carnatic mm. and uh, i will try to attempt how the hindustani boops are ra ra a a so that gives a very beautiful color to the same scale which is very different because of the oscillations in the carnatic system yeah. so uh, this is the basic uh, difference that we can easily identify and appreciate in both the systems very very interesting and it's, uh, you know it just engages you because music is all about expression from your inner self and absolutely you know and and this is what i see it's, it's so i find it so uplifting and enriching and absolutely yes takes you to a very different realm you know yeah yes and coming to your father's legacy humongous legacy i mean uh, yes. he uh, composed yes. many varnams delanas kritis composed the operatic ballet for the cleveland music festival the cleveland tyagaraja music festival jay jay devi my father saw um, nature colors emotions so many other things so many other beautiful things in music and he could relate it very easily with whatever he created um in the uh, jay jay devi which is an operatic ballet created by written by my father there is a beautiful piece which kind of explains the flight of a bee in a ragam i can sing that for you to illustrate what is the uniqueness about the lalgudi garana yes mm mm vanturvagi vantur vaagi vanduruva aagi vanduruva aagi vanduruva aagi vanduruva aagi so the music itself gives the impression of a bee mm. you know uh, hovering and taking a flight vanduruva 
This is what is uh, the Lalgudi Gharana, where uh, the music goes hand in hand with the lyrics and uh, they both strive to bring out the emotion. And this was premiered in uh, Cleveland in the huge, most prestigious uh, uh, Indian festival, the Th uh, Cleveland Tyagraja mm -hmm. festival. It was premiered there and uh, my guru and father was honored by the Cleveland mayor and uh, April 2nd, 1993 was uh, announced as the Lalgudi day. Mm -hmm. And this had some 30 dancers and live orchestra. And uh, this uh, show had some 30 recitals, 30 shows all over the US and people really uh, went um, uh, show after show, they they would see uh, the show in uh, New York and then run to Philadelphia to catch the next show. So that was the uh, wave that uh, uh, this J J Devi created. Mm, beautiful, and you um, with your brother have this dance drama that you had. I think in 2017, Sambhavi Yuge yes. Yuge. Uh, Cleveland. Uh, Mr. Vivi Sundaram of uh, the Cleveland uh, Tyagraja Festival. He approached us, uh, me and my brother, and he requested us to compose uh, an operatic ballet, which is uh, the Sambhavami Yuge Yuge, uh, which covers the first eight avatars of the Dasha avatar. And we have written stories to narrate uh, the eight avatarams. And uh, just like a full length dance drama, it has many compositional forms in it, a Varnam, a Thilana, and a Pushpanjali, and a Kriti, a Shlokam. Many aspects are there which, uh, which narrate the eight avatars. And uh, the operatic ballet ends by ushering in the baby Krishna who is to be oh. born, uh, where the Yamuna is waiting for the baby to come and bless her. Um, so this uh, dance uh, show also was premiered in Cleveland and we uh, consider it a great blessing because uh, in the same place where uh, our guru and father composed JJ Devi and staged, uh, it was staged. Mm -hmm. uh, in the same place, we also composed a, da a dance operatic ballet and it was staged uh, in uh, 2016. Now you uh, want to share views with our viewers, you are... Uh wonderful poet. You have written, I think, over 100 poems and they've been tuned in as well. So yeah. any of your poems were in Sambhavani Yoge Yoge? Um, the Sambhavani Yoge Yoge was uh, actually uh, something that me and my brother, both of us, together composed. It was a project that we worked together. Uh, in fact, uh, it was a great uh, experience. Uh, it is easy, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say easy, but it is fine to perform uh, in sync with my brother. But to compose music, our minds have to be totally aligned and our creative uh, spirit has to be just the same. We need to um, have uh, a good understanding. Right. And uh, we found, to our own surprise, we found out that we could do that very well. Uh, most of the songs, uh, he would write the lyrics or I would give the tune or I would write, um, you know, the lyrics would just come to my mind and he will tune them. So we were totally in sync and we could uh, compose uh, for the uh, dance uh, ballet. But uh, I have done poems, uh, some of which I have also uh, set to music. I can uh, actually, uh, there is a lullaby that I have written. Mm. Um, Nilabum vandade thungu vai kandi Niladu oadum manam chorva vaadade Nilabum vandade Tungu vai kandi Nilad 
போடும் பதம் சோர்வால் this is uh, one of my short poems which i have uh, tuned mm. and uh, uh, it was also danced uh, to by uh, one of uh, uh, the brilliant dancers uh, um um shrimati vidya subramanyam mm. uh, she beautifully choreographed this poetry and she danced to it it's you know it just washes away all your worries and your anxieties just <laughs> you know it's beautiful yeah. it's like very surreal and transforms you into a, like a very organic healed person you know absolutely. yes beautiful. the music is the uh, easiest meditation i would say the uh, easiest way to uh, uh, go to an elevated level and uh, all you all you need to do is just close your eyes yes. and play the tanpura and uh, sing and you're in a different world altogether just be connected absolutely yeah yes you so talked about your brother he's your alter ego he's your violin duo partner and yes. you have come out with him this uh, mirage video series yes you know that's every sunday morning we have a great look at those uh, video series in fact i was watching this one today the the, the video number 3 did you talked about it said yeah. i'll tell you share the raga in the end you know that's right yeah yeah Uh, share with us how this came about how you conceptualized it um this is that, that uh, mirage uh, video series that we have been doing every sunday is uh, totally my brother's uh, he conceived it and uh, uh, this happened because uh, in most of the concerts we would uh, try to explore the raga the scope of a raga and uh, shruti bedam is a beautiful concept in the carnatic system yes. where uh, if i were to illustrate that mm. uh, with a scale sa ri ga pa da sa sa da pa ga ri sa this is mohanam and mm. if you take the third note sa ri ga ga pa da sa ri ga sa ni da ma ga sa and if you take the third note and make it, uh, put it as sa Yes. If you convert that into the into the tonic note, ga pa da sa ri ga, ta ga ma da ni sa, ga ri sa da pa ga, sa ni da ma ga sa. Ah, the ga becomes sa. Ga becomes sa. So yeah, the source raga is Mohanam or Boop, and uh, when you shift the sarjam to the third note. Mm. and from there if you follow the scale yes you get uh, malkons or uh, hindolam mm. so uh, normally in a concert when uh, such a thing happens and when you come back to the uh, source raga after finishing uh, a little bit of exploring the shruti bedam and when you come and join the source raga it gives a beautiful uh, effect it uh, gives goosebumps so um this uh, my uh, brother is very fascinated by uh, this concept and he has explored it a lot in many of uh, uh, the concerts every time he would come up with a new uh, shruti bedam so we thought it would be interesting to present a video series which will be educational also to the music listeners and music students right and you have performed many uh, jugal bandis with your brother Uh, and as you mentioned distinct styles but again within that boundaries of the tradition yes. you improvise yeah. and it becomes so mesmerizing and enriching those jugal bandis yeah. you know yeah, yeah. jugal bandis are uh, very interesting because um, uh, we get to find a common point with the hindustani uh, artist when we uh, collaborate with the hindu with any hindustani artist we also find a common point and at the same time we try to retain our space and uh, show the uh, individual aspects of the carnatic system so uh, it is a display of both uh, what is uh, similar what is common in the systems and it is also we can also showcase what is very different in both mm-hmm. the systems yes. so and uh, i think it it helps the audience also uh, to uh, enjoy both the systems if uh, a rasika is not uh, uh, introduced exposed to one of the systems 
that is the best way to uh, get used to get introduced to both the systems and to enjoy uh, that's a doorway i would say i think and this is a great um, to promote classical music both uh, not absolutely classical. yes and uh, we we both have collaborated with uh, very beautiful artists uh, i was about like, to say uh, that um, yes yes yeah yeah um, parvez, um, Vilaat Khan, ustad uh, ustad shahid parvez uh, ji or uh, and uh, i have i have performed with uh, kala ramna ji yes uh, murad murad ali khan ji and uh, and my guru and father has performed with uh, um, <clears throat> the great legend uh, uh, ustad vilaat khan ji yes. and uh, Uh, Amjad Ali Khan ji, and uh, some of the videos are also available on YouTube. I had the fortune of interviewing Ustad Bilal Khan ji, and it was, I think, one of my best <laughs> moments of my life. Um, you know, to sit next to him and talk to him, yeah. and be in conversation yeah. with such a legend. Uh, we we had a such a beautiful moment once uh, when uh, my father and. Uh, Ustad Vilayat Khan ji have uh, they have performed together, and then uh, after decades, uh, my brother and uh, Shujat Khan ji uh, they both the both the sons performed, and the, both the fathers the legends were in the audience watching the concert, which was a very uh, uh, beautiful uh, day, beautiful evening. and you yourself have won so many accolades and recognitions and awards even from the state government as well and i think one of your most uh, uh defining moments was when pandit ravi shankar ji said you you have the fingers of your father yes yes um that was a greatest uh, blessing i i would say uh, that i received uh, this uh, encouraging words and uh, kind words uh, from pandit ji uh, that that concert when in san diego when i performed in front of him and uh, he really enjoyed the first piece that that was my father's composition a varnam in valage uh, he thoroughly enjoyed the composition and then i went on to play uh, karahar priya and towards the end after i finished the concert i went to take his blessings mm. and uh, that is when he said your music touched my heart and uh, you have your father's fingers so um, it's a great blessing great compliment i cherish it yes yes yeah. yes and uh, coming down to your new album first of all big big congratulations shuddha swarupa It yes, just got yes. released, and uh, it has got a whole galaxy of such great uh, musicians and yes. vocalists. Yeah. And, yeah. and 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 Shankar Mahadevan, he just gave us such a great congratulatory video song yes. on that. You know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. Um. Shuddhananda Bharati, Kavi Yogi Maharishi, Shuddhananda Bharati, was a, a great poet and also a philosopher, a saint. and uh, he uh, his uh, philosophy is uh, sama yoga and uh, uh, he uh, um, saw or uh, went in search of uh, god within himself wanted to see god within he taught that philosophy and he also um, expressed that in his poems that uh, the the divine energy has no form uh, it is nirguna uh, swarupam shuddha swarupam so um he has written some thousand songs and uh, his family approached me to uh, compose or set to music some of the uh, songs so i went about uh, uh, skimming through the book which has so many uh, um poems in varied subjects and uh, i just picked a few which i thought you know um which i could understand a little bit because it's a very profound uh, philosophy and some of the songs uh, in very simple tamil i could i could uh, relate to i picked those compositions and i have tuned them and uh, when i requested uh, musicians like uh, um shrimati uh, bombay jai shri um, and uh, shri abhishek raghuram yeah uh, shri bharat sundar and and uh, um, amrita murli they all very uh, 
yeah, readily agreed uh, to sing. And uh, I should thank uh, Charsur uh, Digital Station, the recording um, um, platform. Um, they released this album and it is available. Uh, what is a beautiful coincidence is that uh, it was released on the 11th May mm. on the 125th birthday of uh, uh, Shudan and the Bharati wow. Swamiji. Interesting. That's a very auspicious day for the release yes. of the album. Yes. Yeah. Can you give us uh, a little trailer of that? Oh, sure. Um, I can. Um, one uh, composition is in uh, Durga. Um, then <laughs> This is one of the compositions. Uh, so um, I have chosen um, a few um, Hindustani ragas and also Carnatic ragas, and it is a compilation of nine songs in this album. Mm. Yeah, and uh, they have all sung it so beautifully. Yes, and uh, I'm I'm very grateful to all the artists who have participated, and uh, the album also has some brilliant instrumentalists who have joined the uh, voices and embellished the songs. Yeah, I saw that. It's 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 really um, it touches you. You know, I, I mean, music always touches, but there are some pieces that really you know connect. And yes. I think Sudha Sarupan with its the theme and uh, you know what it's talking about, it just brings yeah. that and you know you just connect yeah. your mind with that. You know? Yes, yeah. I think uh, um, of course the language is there to appreciate. Yeah. And but even without understanding the lyrics or yes. even without knowing the language, you can relate to the emotion that uh, the music conveys. Uh, so that is the beauty of. Uh, the greatness of music. Yes. And you're part of that great lineage, you know. So. Yes, I'm really blessed. <laughs> you're going to be coming back to Cleveland, I know, because of the pandemic, uh, a lot of things yes. were stopped, but it's a 12 day yeah. festival that happens uh, in Cleveland, Cleveland Gagaraja Music Festival. Uh, yes. Others who yeah. have performed. And are you going to be going back next year? Uh, I, if God willing, um, we will be there next year, um, April, uh, during uh, spring, uh, we are planning to be there. Uh, probably give a few more concerts in some of the um, cities in, in the US. I know you one time uh, came with this great concept, it was the violin venue, Vena concert yeah. that had with all women ensemble. Great. Yeah, um, again, uh, that was uh, something my uh, guru and father introduced. And um, um, he uh, wanted to um, try this combination, which had a beautiful reason behind it. Mm. Because all these three instruments, the violin, the veena, and the flute, they are all very different. Uh, violin is a bowed instrument, yes. and uh, flute is a wind instrument, and veena is a an instrument which you play by strumming and plucking the strings. So it gives a very different texture when they are all played together. And also the range that each instrument occupies is different. Veena occupies the lower range and the violin occupies the mid range and the flute occupies the higher range. Mm -hmm. So when they all come in unison, 
there is a lot of dy uh, dynamics and colors and texture tonality that is uh, uh, that comes out and um, uh, music uh, i mean the concerts become very oral uh, it becomes an oral uh, uh, treat to listen to it um, he performed this combination with uh, two uh, great uh, musicians um, sri flute ramani and uh, and uh, sri uh, meena venkatraman so i just followed that and i also formed uh, a group and uh, i have performed uh, uh, many concerts um, with uh, beautiful artists again wow well we are getting a little audio and a visual treat from you so lastly uh, vijay lakshmi ji uh, play one small piece that's your favorite or always been your favorite i know there could be so many favorites but one little piece for our viewers oh definitely and definitely um i would love to play um my father's tilana mm. just the uh, just the um, lyrics i mean tilana is uh, the compositional form that is equal to tarana of the hindustani system and uh, tilana is where uh, my father has also introduced a lot of uh, laya kari uh, laya patterns mm. and uh, the composition as such uh, the lyrics uh, there are only two lines in the entire composition the rest of it is all uh, rhythmic patterns interwoven it's a very uh, strict and uh, complex compositional form and uh, um, he has composed uh, tilana in pahadi i see this is a beautiful uh, line in the tilana mm. if i were to sing that i will tune to a different pitch i see that i can sing with ease mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mangala kar mahadeva shankar shambho ಭಯರ ಮಂಗಳ ಕರ ಮಹಾದೇವ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಭೋ ಭಯರ ಗಂಗಾಧರ ಗೌರೀ ಪಥಿ ಪಂಕಜ ಪಾದ what an enchanting treat for the eyes and ears i think i'm i think i want to learn now carnatic music i mean i'm learning hindustani classical but i think <laughs> not absolutely so deep and uh, intense you know I, yeah i think i've become a student for life yeah, definitely with the um with your um uh, hindustani uh, you know background it is very easy for you to learn the carnatic system you will absolutely enjoy it please mm -hmm. do we'll be there together many many times then and um well, thank you so much uh, you know lalgadi vijay lakshmi ji for spending time with us and uh, you know giving us this such treat for the eyes and ears and um wish you all the best with your uh, shuddha sarupam album which is going to be released by charsur 
and your Cleveland Music Festival you. with your brother, Lord Goody Krishnanji, and um, you know, you keep music alive, you keep Carnatic music live. So, thank you for all the work you've done. And uh, thank you, thank you, Reneji. I absolutely enjoyed. Uh, um, uh, answering your questions, uh, so relevant questions that uh, you post, and uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity to share some of my thoughts. Thank you, thank Sim. you so much. Thank, thank you. you, thank you very much. Namaste. Namaste. I'm yes, thank you, thank you, and Dr. Renee Mera, thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, and stay positive, and music is the way to go. Thank you.